Hello everyone, it's Kevin, and today I'm pleased to be able to show you a demonstration of staking on Moonbeam. Today I'll demonstrate the delegation process on the Moonbeam network, but the process is exactly the same on Moon River as well. While the delegation process is the same, there are some differences in the parameters between the networks, such as the amount of time it takes to revoke a nomination. Be sure to check out our doc site for the most up-to-date information on staking parameters. We also have a video for how to stake in Moon River that discusses all of the relevant staking parameters for the Moon River network. I'll post a link to that video in the description. To get started, head to apps.moonbeam.network and make sure that the account that you want to stake with is selected in your MetaMask. Here I'm selected with the correct account, but if you'd like to choose a different account, go ahead and click on the circle, click on the account, and then press connect. The page will reload and then you'll be able to see all of your account information. So let's switch back to the correct account. Secondly, make sure you're connected to the right network. To switch between networks, all you have to do is click on the desired network in the upper right hand corner. You're free to stake anything that's in your free balance. If you have pending crowd loan rewards, you're free to claim them and then you can delegate them to a collator as long as you have met the minimum delegation amount. It's not possible to stake crowd loan rewards that have not yet been delivered to your free balance. So to get started, scroll down to staking, click on manage delegations, then click on select a collator. The first tab that loads is the active pool. So these are collators who are actively earning staking rewards. The waiting pool, contains collators who don't yet have enough stake to make it into the active pool, but that could change in the future. If you want to earn staking rewards right away, you'll want to choose a collator in the active pool. Before choosing a specific collator, you should be aware of their minimum bond amount. There is a protocol-wide minimum delegation amount, but it's also possible for a collator's minimum delegation amount to be slightly higher. Why is that? Because there are a limited number of delegation slots available for each collator. Once a given collator fills up its delegation slots, the minimum bond for that collator will increase. Additional delegators are free to join, but they won't earn staking rewards unless they meet the threshold for the collator's minimum bond. How should you choose a collator? You should do your own research and you should choose one that you trust to be a good steward of the network. If you don't know any collators, you can check out the collators channel in Discord where collators can introduce themselves. Alternatively, you can pick any collator from the active pool for which you meet the minimum bond amount. Moonbeam has no slashing, so you'll never lose your principal delegation amount. If your chosen collator stops producing blocks, you won't earn rewards for the period they're offline. Next. Let's talk about the optimization of staking rewards. Generally speaking, to optimize your yield, you'll want to choose a collator with a lower total bond amount. It sounds counterintuitive at first, but by choosing a collator with a lower total bond, your delegation amount represents a larger percentage of that collator's total amount staked, and thus you'll earn a slightly higher reward. The list is sorted by default from collators with the lowest total amount staked at the top, to ones with the highest total amount staked at the bottom. Although delegating to a collator takes effect immediately, you won't earn rewards until two rounds or 12 hours have passed. In Moonbeam, it takes 28 rounds or seven days to reduce or revoke a delegation. So ensure that you don't need access to the glimmer you're staking for at least a week. On Moon River, the exit delay period is substantially shorter. For demonstration purposes, we'll choose a collator at random. Go ahead and click on the collator you wanna to delegate to, then specify the delegation amount in this case, we'll choose 50 Glimmer. When you're ready, click Delegate and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. And you can see our transaction was confirmed and our delegation is active. You're free to have delegations to different collators. You can also increase or decrease your delegation amount by using the plus and minus buttons. Let's demonstrate increasing our bond. So here, enter the amount that you'd like to increase your bond by. In this case, I'll choose 2 Glimmer. Go ahead and press Send and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. And you can see the update reflected in the UI that we have increased our delegation to 52 Glimmer. Now let's demonstrate decreasing a delegation. Reducing or revoking a delegation is a two-step process involving initiation and execution. You can initiate a request to reduce a delegation by clicking on the minus sign. Enter the amount that you'd like to reduce the delegation by. In this case, we'll reduce it by one Glimmer. Click Send and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. As a reminder, you can't reduce a delegation below the protocol minimum delegation amount. And here you can see that we now have a pending decrease request. Once the request is in progress, you can't make changes to it, but you can cancel it if you'd like and start over. After the waiting period has passed, you can return to apps.moonbeam.network to execute, meaning finalize the request, at which point your unbonded tokens will be returned to your free balance. You can hover over the check mark to see the round at which your request is eligible to be executed. And as a reminder, you can see the current round here at the top. And if you hover over it, you'll get a reminder for how long each round takes on the network. 
In the case of Moonbeam, each round takes about six hours. We covered a lot of ground here quickly in this video, but hopefully this has introduced you to the basics of staking and earning rewards using apps.moonbeam.network. There's more information about staking available on our doc site, including all of the parameters like round length and exit delay period for each network. Be sure to check out the links in the description. And as always, feel free to reach out to us in our Discord if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.